Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on scraping unlimited leads from Facebook groups. Whether you're looking to boost your sales outreach, find potential clients, or just learn a crazy cool automation hack, this video covers it all. And yeah, we're gonna break down every step so you can do it yourself, even if tech isn't your thing. Sound good? Let's get started. First of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of our new subscribers joining us today. Seriously, it's awesome having you here. If you're new, I'm Jake and I'm on this channel. I break down the best AI sales automation tips and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and most importantly, easy to apply. No tech jargon, no confusing steps, just straight up strategies that work. Because let's face it, no one has time for complicated stuff that doesn't get results. And if you really wanna take things to the next level, don't forget to check out the school community. I've linked it below. It's a space that I've created for people like you, learners, doers, and anyone who's ready to dive into AI automation. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using in today's video. And the best part, you can import these templates directly and start using them immediately. No fuss, no headache, Plus, you can ask questions, get direct help from me, and connect with other folks who are serious about leveling up their skills. Let's jump right in. All right, here's the game plan. We're going to scrape leads from Facebook groups. No more endlessly scrolling through profiles or trying to track down potential leads manually. We'll find the right groups, grab members info with a Chrome extension, organize it all in Google Sheets, and use ChatGPT to craft personalized outreach messages. By the end, you'll have a neatly packaged list of leads ready to go. Think of it as turning a messy Facebook rabbit hole into a goldmine for AI automation sales. So first things first, finding the right Facebook group. So open up Facebook, take a deep breath, and head over to the search bar at the top. You want to type in keywords that match your target market, like small business networks or restaurant owners in Florida. If you're going for a specific region, make sure to include that in your search. Why Facebook groups? Because small business owners live in these groups. They're in there asking for advice, sharing resources, or just venting about how overwhelming everything is. And here you come like a friendly automation hero ready to save the day. Once you've typed in your search terms, you'll see a bunch of results. Now, we're not interested in pages, posts, or marketplace ads for secondhand lawnmowers. You want to filter for groups. Look on the left side and you'll see that sweet little groups filter. Click it and bam, you've got a list of potential gold mines. Now, let's talk group selection. You're looking for groups that are big. I'm talking 5,000 members or more. The bigger, the better. Why? Because more members means more leads. If you see a group with 41,000 members, jackpot. But it's not just about size, engagement matters too. If people are posting, commenting, and interacting, that's a great sign. You don't want a ghost town. You want a buzzing, lively group where people are active and engaged. Think of it like choosing a party to crash. You want one where people are actually having fun, not staring at their phones in awkward silence. Once you've found your dream group, it's scraping time. For that, we're using a handy little Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. This tool does all the hard work for you kind of like a Roomba for lead scraping. If you don't have it yet, here's what you do. First, open Google. In the search bar, type in Chrome Web Store and hit enter. Click on the first result and boom, you're in the web store. Now in the web store search bar, type Instant Data Scraper, hit enter, and you'll see the extension pop up in the results. It's the one with a little data icon. Click on it to open the extension page. You're going to see a big blue button that says Add to Chrome. Click that button, a little pop-up will show up asking if you're sure, and yes, you're sure. You want this sweet scraping power. So go ahead and click Add Extension. Give it a few seconds to do its thing. You'll see an icon of the extension appear in the top right corner of your Chrome browser, next to your address bar. And just like that, you're locked and loaded, ready to scrape. Now, let's put it to work. Go back to the Facebook group you picked out earlier. This is where the magic happens. On the top of your group's page, you'll see the people selection. That's where the list of group members live. Click on it. With the list of members in front of you, click on the instant data scraper icon in your Chrome toolbar. 
A pop-up window will appear and it will show you a preview of the first batch of members. But we're not stopping there, no way. We want all the leads. Look at the top left of the pop-up window and you'll see a checkbox labeled infinite scroll. Check that box, then click the start scrolling button and now let the scraping begin. The tool will scroll through the group members automatically, loading more and more as it goes. Think of it as your personal assistant tirelessly working while you grab a coffee or watch a funny cat video. Seriously, this part can take a while if the group is big, so let it do its thing while you relax. Once the scrolling is done and the tool has scraped all the members, it will notify you. At this point, you're ready to download your treasure trove of data. In the pop-up window, you'll see a CSV button. Click that and the data will download as a CSV file. Next, open up Google Drive and upload that CSV file you just downloaded. First, if you don't have a folder for all these leads yet, let's get organized. Click on the New button on the left sidebar, then select Folder. Name it something that makes sense, like AI Automation Leads. Trust me, don't just hit Enter and name it Untitled, like I know you've done before. You're going to regret it later. Now, drag and drop the CSV file right into that shiny new folder. Once the file is uploaded, right-click on it and select Open with Google Sheets. Boom, your data pops up in Google Sheets. Now brace yourself because the columns are probably a hot mess. We're talking labels that look like a random mix of letters and numbers. Don't panic, we're going to clean this up. First, take a quick scan of the columns and see what's what. You're looking for the profile links, names, dates, and maybe some bio info. These are the essentials. Let's rename them so they actually make sense. Click on the first column header, let's say it's A, and rename it link. This is where Facebook profiles links are. Click on the second column, probably B, and rename it name. That's their full names. The third one can be date joined, so you know when they join the group. And if there's another column with some random bio or description info, rename that one to description. Got any useless columns? Maybe ones that say something like XYZ data one, two, three, four, five and look like nonsense? Yeah, delete those. Right click on the column header and hit delete column. Less clutter means more sanity. Now that your data is all neat and tidy, let's prep for outreach. We need to extract first names so we can make these messages feel personal. To do that, add a new column right next to the name column. Call it first name. In the first row of this new column, type in this magic formula. What this does is grab the first word in the name. So if you've got John Smith, it'll pull John. If there's no space, it just keeps the whole name. Hit enter, and like magic, you've got the first name. Now, grab that little square at the bottom right of the cell, that's the fill handle, and drag it all the way down to the last row of your data. Boom, first name sorted for everyone. If you've noticed any weird names or ones that didn't split properly, just fix them manually. No one wants to send a message that says, hi, Marianne Marie, right? All right, now for the fun part. Crafting your outreach message. Hop over to ChatGPT and give it this prompt. Create a message to first name asking if they need AI automations for their business. Keep it under 180 characters, friendly, and mention that you saw them in this specific group name. ChatGPT will whip up something like, Hi, first name, I saw you in the South Florida Small Business Network group and thought AI automations might help your business grow. Let me know. Sound good? Cool. Back in Google Sheets, let's create a new column for these personalized messages. Call it message. In the first cell, type in this formula. This pulls in the first name from column C and adds it right into the message. Hit enter, and there you go. A perfectly personalized message. Now, just like before, grab the fill handle and drag it down to fill the rest of the rows out. Just like that, you've got a full list of personalized outreach messages ready to send. All right, so now we've got these personalized messages ready to roll. Each one is tailored with the first name of your lead and crafted to sound human and friendly. But let's be honest, no one wants to spend hours copying and pasting these messages one by one. That's where automation comes in. 
And let me tell you, in the next part of this tutorial, we're going to level up your outreach game by automating the entire sending process. Here's the plan. We'll use a browser automation tool to log into Facebook, navigate to each lead's profile, and send them those carefully crafted messages. Think of it like a virtual assistant who never gets tired, doesn't need a coffee break, and won't complain about the repetitive work. We're going to keep this as straightforward as possible, so even if you've never automated anything before, don't sweat it. I'll walk you through every step, and by the end, you'll have a solid system up and running. And there you have it. You've scraped the leads, cleaned them up, and crafted messages that sound like they're coming from a real human being, not some robot stuck in the 90s. No more dear valued customer vibes and that make people hit delete faster than you can say unsubscribe. Now, if you found this video helpful, do me a solid, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss the next step in this automation journey. I drop new videos all the time, and trust me, you don't want to be left out when the good stuff lands. And hey, I wanna hear from you. How did your lead scraping go? Did you find some golden opportunities just waiting to be tapped into? Or was it more like a group full of tire kickers who just wanted free advice? Either way, drop a comment below and let me know what you uncovered. I love hearing your stories, whether it's a win or a wild goose chase. And hey, if you're sitting here thinking, Jake, this is awesome, but what else do you got? I got you. Check out our school community. It's linked below. It's loaded with templates, resources, and a bunch of automation enthusiasts who are just as upset with streamlining life as we are. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Keep scraping, keep automating, and keep crushing it. I'll catch you in the next video.